It's that time of year again when comedians from all around the globe come to Melbourne for the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. We caught up with local funny man Dave O'Neill for his views on the festival and also his upcoming show. Dave O'Neill, thank you so much for talking to us today. Firstly, what can you tell me about this year's Comedy Festival? What's the atmosphere like? Is it different from the past years? It's great, actually. It's a great atmosphere. But then again, I've been drunk most of the time. No, I'm on prescription drugs. You know, three kids, three kids, I'm on a high. It's school holidays in Melbourne, it's killing me. Comedy Festival plus school holidays, it's terrible. How important do you feel the Melbourne Comedy International Comedy Festival is for the city here? Yeah, it's good. It's good for the city. It brings people out, gets them together and, you know, you know it utilises the town hall. What, what the hell, who, what's the town hall used for? What are they doing there? But it gets, it gets some laughs in the town hall apart from the council meetings. Now, what can you tell me about your show, the new show you've got? It's called You Don't Really Have a Job. Do your dad, which is something that my son said to me who's eight, and my first reaction was, well, nor do you. What do you do all day? You don't do anything. You go to school and that, big deal. It's all about justify my existence to an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, and a three-year-old. It's made me look inside myself. Mm. So how did that come about? Did he just randomly say that to you, or was there something that sparked him to say that? He, because they read books like Bob the Builder and Postman Pat, there's no book on Dave the Comedian who works at night, you know what I mean? Us in the entertainment industry, along with strippers and wrestlers, we're not represented in children's fiction. So he doesn't kind of, he doesn't have a, a he doesn't have a reference point. If I was a builder, he'd go, oh yeah, like Bob the Builder. But there's no Dave the Comedian. Has he seen any of your shows? He saw me once and he preferred, he told me he liked Eddie Perfect, who was on after me because he had a piano. Thanks a lot, son. So you've been doing comedy for a number of years now, Dave O'Neill. What inspires you to come up with new and fresh material? What inspires me? Oh, look, just everyday life. My kids, three ki kids are quite funny. They, they do say some funny things. Um, the other day he said, you know, um, why? He asked questions, which I turned into jokes. He said, why do the ankle bones stick out? Well, I don't know. I said to hold your socks up. That's all I could come up with. But I just find everyday life inspiration Living with the same woman for 22 years, that's been inspiring, that kind of stuff. So what's the process that you normally go through when creating the structure for any new show? Look, basically any comic basically works throughout the year to build up to the comedy festival. So I host a regular night at my local pub, The Grand View, and I just do, throughout the year, build up bits of material, bits of material, then I put it all together, and then I go to somewhere like Mildura and test it out there. And I also went to Canberra and also the Danny Nong Mountains did a show up there. So I, te I get it all together, test it out, and then I just, yeah, I do it like that. Work on it all year, basically. Now, finally, you've, uh, you're doing something a little bit different that not many comedians are going for. What can you tell me about the pay as you feel idea that you're going to be doing? Uh, next Wednesday, uh, I'm doing a show where you can just come along and just pay whatever you want. It can be $5, it can be $500, if there's anyone rich watching. And I just reckon, just open me up the comedy festival to people that maybe don't have a lot of money, you know. Like I was the first comedian to do a crybaby session where people could bring their babies along and watch. That's because I had a little baby and I thought, what a good idea. Now that I've got three older children, I'm poor. So I'm opening it up to lower income people. But maybe just because it's quite expensive to see a comedian. Like especially if you want to see someone famous. So come along Wednesday night, pay whatever you want. Don't even pay anything. If you don't like it, whatever. Bad or bring a can of food. Baked beans would be good. Low salt though, come on. Or so it can be anything, it can be food or money, it's just whatever they feel like. Yeah, preferably something in a packet. I don't want to get poisoned. I don't want a chicken. I don't want I don't want something that's been cooked. I want oh, a slice would be nice. I'd, I'd accept a slice. But I, I, like a can of food would be fine. Baked beans, I like baked beans. David, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you.